Praise the Lord, mighty prophet of the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord, Pastor Raymond. Now, the, the Lord has spoken with me, Pastor Raymond. The Lord Jehovah, the Lord Jehovah Adonai, Jehovah Elohim, our mighty creator, Jehovah Shalom, Jehovah Tabaoth, uh, Jehovah Rohi, the Lord who is our shepherd, Jehovah El Gibor, the mighty God of Israel. Well, he has spoken with me about the tremendous visitation that is about to take place onto the earth. And I know that in the past conversations, I have shared very passionately and faithfully on the previous conversations that Jehovah has relayed again regarding his impending visitation onto the earth. But in this conversation, the Lord he is going to take me to a place. I see the Lord take me to a place, and at that place, there was a meeting. There is a meeting that takes place at that place. And as the Lord brings his servant into that meeting, I saw the worship team, I saw everybody, people were many in attendance. And then the tremendous glory of the Lord comes down as a wild wind. The wind comes down and essentially touches the people, mows the people down. And then when I looked towards my left, Again, the same wind came and blew them and everybody could not stand up on their feet. So there is going to be a tremendous and a historic visitation of Jehovah the Lord into the church. And this visitation is going to be like none other, like not, has not been seen before. It is a visitation that has not been experienced unto this earth before. I see the wind coming like a tornado, like a funnel, a big wind. As the Lord walks me into a meeting, then the wind comes down and touches the meeting. And I see a lot of people mowed down by this wind of the glory of the Lord and slayed. A tremendous number of people touched and healed and delivered and some baptized in the Holy Spirit. And so indeed the Lord is going to visit the earth and the church in a manner has not happened before. I know in the past conversation he spoke with me about the rapture of the church and in that conversation of the rapture he also was able to confide in me the events that would befall the earth after the rapture. I have seen the tremendous darkness that will consume the earth, the darkness that will overshadow and eclipse the events of this earth, of this earth and bring forth a very fearful dispensation as has not happened before. But the Bible says here in the book of Ezekiel chapter 47, it says very clearly that then he, my guide, I'm reading Amplified, he, my guide, brought me again to the door of the house of the Lord, the temple, and behold, waters issued out from under the threshold of the temple toward east. For the front of the temple was toward east, and the waters came down from under, from right side, from the right side of the temple, on the south side of the altar. Verse 2, Ezekiel 47, he says, Then he brought me out by way of the north gate, and led me around outside to the outer gate by the way that faces east. And behold, water was running out on the right side. And when the man went on eastward with a measuring line in his hand, he measured of a thousand cubits, and he caused me to pass through the waters, the waters that were anchor deep. Again, he measured a thousand cubits and caused me to pass through the waters, the waters that reached to the knees. Again, measured a thousand cubits and caused me, he measured a thousand cubits and caused me to pass through the waters, waters that reached to the loin. Afterward, he measured of a thousand cubits and it was a river that I could not pass through for the waters had risen waters to swim in, a river that could not be passed over or through. And he said unto me, Son of man, have you seen this? Then he led me and caused me to return to the bank of the river. Now, what the Lord is essentially saying to the four ends of the earth, all the way from Nova Scotia through Ottawa, New Brunswick, down to New York City, Chicago, down to Chile, all the way to Concepcion and the smallest towns at the tip of the South American continent. And he's also speaking all the way from the ends of South Korea through China, from Boryong, from Bushan, all the way into Seoul, Korea, and Incheon, and he's crossing over into Beijing, Shanghai, throughout Europe, all the way up, down to Sweden, to 
UK, to France, and crossing into the island and the United States of America. And speaking also from Finland as high as the tip is, down to the tips of South America, the tips of South Africa, the tips of Australia, and the tips of New Zealand. The Lord is speaking to the mountains, the rivers, and the oceans, the rocks, and the peoples of the earth, the trees. He's speaking to the entire earth, and he's saying that these are the Joel's days, the days of the Joel's dispensation. When he says, to pour his spirit unto the church, unto the earth, and prepare the nation for the glorious and holy and righteous coming of the Messiah. And the Lord is saying, but he is sending his spirit at this time, but the spirit will overtake the events of the earth, so that he may prepare forth out of the decayed church a holy and perfect bride, the bride that can stand before the throne of heaven, the bride that defeats the historic and enormous and tremendous and unmatched and unequaled work that Christ Jesus, my Lord, did on the cross. And so these are the signs that again trumpet unto the four ends of the earth, the four winds of the earth, that behold, the hour to prepare for the coming of the Messiah is now. But in that preparation, at the center stage is repentance. The Lord is calling on the church in the United States to, to complete repentance, to turn away from the homosexuality in the church, to turn away from the decay of the gospel of prosperity that they so love, to turn away from the nudity, the immoral dressing of women in the churches in the United States, in Canada, in South America, Central America, in Africa, in Asia, in Europe, all over the earth. The Lord is using this mighty anointing to also rebuke the drought that you see in the church now. And he's saying that there is a river that is flowing, that is going to flow even to a greater level from the throne of God, behind the throne room. The river of the life nurturing spirit of God is going to visit the church another level. In Kenya, they have seen the lack of visitation. They have seen a visitation the highest in the history of the Bible. They have seen the highest in the history of the church. They have seen the highest in the history of the creation of the earth. But the Lord is saying that other nations too now, if they prepare in absolute righteousness and they return to holiness, in complete repentance, genuine repentance, then they too are able to partake of this tremendous outflow that I've seen coming from the throne of God and sweeping the church, changing the order of worship. Because I saw him slay people that were worshipping and I saw him change things. I saw him violently. It was a violent wind, meaning he's coming to distort and destroy the confused, dysfunctional order in the church and set forth a new order of worship in the church, a heavenly order, a new order of the latter revival, a new order of holiness, an order that will be able now to centralize the events of the Messiah and the glorious coming kingdom of God. May those who have ears know that he that speaks to the Lord has now spoken to the nations of the earth. May they know that he about whom it is written, I'll send my messenger before that day to prepare the nations before you have spoken. And may those who have ears repent and return to righteousness. I have seen the coming of the Messiah and so it shall be. Amen.